Good morning, everybody. Um, do your parents or your grandparents have a spot in your house where they stack up all the bills that they have to pay each month and they pull them out and you'll start looking through it and go, wow, how are we ever going to pay all of these? That's something every family has to do. They have to pay their bills. And sometimes parents worry about how they are going to pay them. Now, this morning, St. Peter asks Jesus something a little different, but it really has to do with the bills being due. So let's listen to what he said. Our Bible passage this morning is from Matthew 18, beginning in verse 21. Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? And Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy-seven times. And then Jesus told them a story. He said, Therefore the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. And settling accounts in those days is kind of like paying bills, but when you were the king, uh, those bills were even more serious. And when the king began to settle, one servant was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. And since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold with his wife and children, and all that he had, and payment be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the master of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But when that same servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him, he began to choke him, saying, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. And he refused, and went to put him in prison until he could pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were very distressed, and they went and reported to their master everything that they had seen. And then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should you not have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger, his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt. Jesus said, So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. So Jesus is comparing our debt to our, he is comparing our sins to a debt that uh, needs to be paid. So Peter comes asking that question, well, how often should I forgive somebody, Jesus? And sometimes don't we ask that same question? Sometimes you might have a friend or brother or sister or someone you know that said something bad uh, about you or uh, told a story about you that wasn't true and it really hurt. And you wonder, how, how could I forgive that person? I don't want to. I'm kind of angry at them for what they did. And Peter asked a similar question. He said, if, if I forgive someone seven times, is that enough? But Jesus answered Peter's question by telling the story of these servants, that first servant who owed 10,000 talents. Uh, we're not going to talk about exactly what that means, but it means this. It was a debt that would take that man many, many lifetimes to pay back. We don't know how he got such a heavy debt like that, but what we need to take away is that first debtor that was forgiven the 10,000 talents that was a debt he could never, ever, ever pay back. Even if he lived a thousand lifetimes, he would not have been able to pay that debt back. And yet the master had mercy on him. Even when the man said, oh, well, be patient with me and I'll pay it back. There would be no amount of patience because it could never be paid back. And that master who forgave that debt to him is like what God does for us because the debt of our sin could never, ever, ever be paid back by us. There is nothing we could do if we had a million universes of time to work to make our sins right with God. We would never, ever be able to do that. But he forgave us all of that debt because he sent Jesus to live a perfect life, the life that we are incapable of leading. And then he died on the cross for each and every one of your sins and my sins all the sins of the whole world, not just one person, which is really remarkable. That shows you how 
deeply God loves each one of us, that he would do that for us. And we could never, ever, ever pay that back. But then we look at the other servant, the servant who had a lot of debt forgiven, and then he met a fellow servant who owed him a little bit, but it was still a lot of money. And he threw that guy in jail. Now, is that how we respond to the grace and the glory that, that God has worked for us through Jesus? To take someone who has done something a little wrong to us and think that we can punish them for that? When God forgave all of our sins that we could never hope to pay back. And that is one of the lessons that we have to take away from this story is that God loves us so much that the insurmountable debt, the, the bill we could never hope to pay, he paid for with Christ's life, death, and resurrection. So that when someone sins against us or says something that hurts our feelings or makes us feel sad and we feel like we could never ever forgive them, well, we should. Because look how much God loved us and forgives us for all the things we have done that are wrong. So we too should look at our friends and our people that we encounter in our lives and we should forgive them because the things that they did to us are nothing compared to the burden of all of our sins that were heaped on Jesus upon the cross when he died and rose for all of our sins. So we should forgive other people because God first forgave us and that is our big lesson for today. So when we pray the Lord's Prayer, we... Uh, pray, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. You know, some churches say trespass or some say debts. But the, the gist of that verse is, you know, God, forgive me all the bad things that I've done. And because you have forgiven me, because you love me and sent Jesus to die for my sins, I will forgive those who sin against me. Because if Jesus could die for my sins, I am certainly capable of finding it in my heart to forgive someone else who has done something to me. But we are able to do that because God loved us so much first and sent us Jesus. Have a great rest of your week.